Hey guys, I have a riddle. What makes working day and night at a fashion magazine all worthwhile? Fame? Nope. Fortune? Nah. uh Free samples! Bingo! The style convention had a little something for everyone, like this briefcase. For the working girl who wants a little more girl in her work. What's in there anyway? Everything you need for a little professional self-pampering. Mascara. Oh, lipstick. Ooh, Angel, you'll like this. As for the briefcase... Sorry, it's all mine. Thanks, cool cat. Mmm, sweet, yet spicy. It's Swicy by Kelvin Kine. And the sales rep said to try it this way. Now, walk into it. Even spicier. I don't know whether to flounce or strut. Byron, what are you doing here? Shh, quiet. They're out there. Are you being chased by bad guys again? Of course I am. And as usual, I've eluded them. Unfortunately, I've made a grave mistake. You smell terrible. Precisely. That's the last time I hide in a dustbin outside the sushi factory. Try this. Mmm, swicy. Brilliant idea. Here they come. So anyway, like then I'm all, uh-huh, and he's all, no uh and I'm all, as if, and he's all, whatever. And that's how I got Dad to raise my allowance. Aw, I wish I was good with words. Yeah, well, like, ew. I think Ugly Creeps Anonymous meets on the first floor. Yeah, and if I wanted the heebie-jeebies, I would have picked some up from the heebie-jeebie store. That's right. Go on. Shoo! And, like, stay out. Anyway, more allowance is nice, but for, like, the big bucks, look at this. The National Inquisitor is offering $1,000 for photos of mysterious phenomen... Phen weird stuff. Like the amazing Beaver Boy. And this microscopic alien spaceship. Well, those things shouldn't be too hard to find. We can take our own pictures. Duh. That's where we're going to borrow Birdie's camera. Come on. By the end of the day, we'll be rich. There you two are. Verdine, we want to borrow your camera. Excellent. Bring it tonight. We might want a record of the proceedings. Don't forget the secret rendezvous. I'll contact you with a definite time. Whatever you do, don't let anybody know. Especially those brats. What was that all about? The super top secret thing, remember? A scheme so extraordinary that no one must ever know of it. Who's Mummy Wummy best as we do? Yes, sir. Mm, yes, you are. Yes, you are. It seems those paragons of pink have frightened my pursuers away. That won't last for long. Who's after you? Yeah, and what's in your case? This case contains top secret government property. No, that case contains makeup. It's mine. Oh, right you are. This case contains the results of a 20-year-long scientific research project. Those men are Dravakian agents, and they'll stop at nothing to get their hands on it. Well, now that they know you're in the building, won't it be kind of hard to just walk out with? Yeah, those two chumps will grab it in no time. Yes. Although... It won't matter if it's the wrong case, will it? No! You can't take my case! I just got that! It's all for the good of democracy, Jade. Meanwhile, watch that, keep it safe, and whatever you do, 
Don't open it. Oh, but... Cheerio! Oh, great. So, what do we do with it? I don't know. Leave it there? Yes, unopened. Just like Byron said. Would be interesting to know what's in it. Seems he owes me at least that much. Yeah, well, too bad we'll never know. Yeah, sure. Oh, absolutely. Angel, I heard him too, but think about it. What if Byron took his own briefcase by mistake? Yes, this could be mine. It's our civic duty to be sure he got it right. Go on, Cool Cat, pop it open. Oh, I have a bad feeling about this. It's like that story of Pandora, and she opens her box and all the sorrows are released into the world. What if it's full of sorrows or tribulations or bees, or... Perfume? For spies? Huh, 20 years of research. It must be some sweet smelling stuff. Ooh, let's check it out. But guys, oh, it's just a spritz. They'll never even miss it. Boy, that's one subtle fragrance. So subtle, it smells like nothing, huh? huh? Oh my gosh! Jade! Sasha! It doesn't just smell like nothing, it looks like nothing! And so do you! <laughs> Where are you? Ow! That's my eye! Your eye? You're just an eye now? Uh, no, I, I... I think the rest of me is here. Where? Right next to you. You can't see me either? No. Jade! Ow! My foot! But what happened to you guys? <gasps> oh my gosh! That spray! It made us invisible! Oh, what if it never wears off? We'll be stuck like this forever! Can you imagine my wedding day? Here comes the bride. What do you think? Settle down, cool cat. There's gotta be an antidote. Ha! Huh, look! Stealth compound number 56. No antidote. Say what? Well, at least you'll never have to worry about zits again. Ow! That's so not funny. Well, don't take it out on me. I told you not to open that case. Hi, Angel. I'm back from the mall. Yasmin! Did that cushion just stagger across the room and knock over the sofa? <sighs> not exactly. Uh, uh, oh! Bless you. you! What's going on here? Where'd that sneeze come from? Where are Jade and Sasha? Yeah, about that. What would you think if I told you that they were in this room, but you couldn't see them because they were sorta, kinda, invisible? I'd say that's ridiculous. There's no such thing as invisibility. Huh? La 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 we are out of sight. You know, Cool Cat, now that we're stuck this way, I'm starting to think maybe it's not all that bad. Yeah, it's kind of fun. And think about it. We have a power that no one else has had in the history of the world. Hm, no sense letting it go to waste. Come on. Uh, guys? Where'd you go?
close-up, and the mountain icon thingy means far away, but what's this little lightning bolt thingy? Ah! Do it again. <laughs> again, as if you're gonna wear out the flash in my bobber. Do you see what I see, Bunny Boo? Two giant pink suckers. So wait! Wait, guys. You cannot prank the Tweevils. Yeah, it's bad enough messing with your friends, but pranking your enemies, you're just asking for trouble. Hmm, you're right. And that's exactly why we gotta prank them! Let's go! Keep an eye out for something amazing. <gasps> Look, it's the Yeti! That's Mr. Baba Zuby with his shirt off. Ew! Easier. Mm, my eyes are getting bored. Hey! Give me that back. I take the pictures. Then why'd you give the camera to me? Uh, I didn't give it to you. You took it. Did not? Mm, camera stealer. Uh, take her backer. <laughs> <laughs> hey! Clapper uh, at her. Triloquister! Mother of Pink! You two stop fighting! She started it! I don't care. Now listen up. Here's the time for our super secret meeting. Eight o'clock. 777 Flamingo Terrace, apartment Q. Eight o'clock. 777 Flamingo Terrace, apartment Q. <laughs> Keep it down, you mega mouths! I've been planning this for far too long to have you ruin it now! Don't worry. Your secret is safe with us. What secret? Ow! If all goes well, we'll finally be able to enjoy life as it should be. Prim, pink, and free of those awful brats! <laughs> Let's go buy some lip gloss. Great, they're gone. Can you stop fooling around now? Are you kidding? We just got started. They're having a secret meeting. With a devious plan, something big, something worrisome. And we're gonna find out what it is. Ow! I'm okay, I'm all right. Nothing to worry about. I can't believe you wasted the whole afternoon waiting in the shoe department. It was the size 15 aisle. Where else is Bigfoot gonna buy shoes? Just because it says monster sale doesn't mean monsters show up. Verdine Maxwell. Like, it's us. There you two are. Good stop, Bunny Boo. Thanks, Cool Cat. Sasha? Hey, guys. We're in the building. What is it? I don't know. It's a sinister place. I don't like the looks of it. No communications from here on out or we'll blow our cover. If you don't hear from us soon, the address is 777 Flamingo Terrace, apartment Q. Be careful. Nothing to worry about. Bunny Boo out. Now what do we do? I guess we wait. We wait for what? You're back. Not before I led my two Drovakian friends on a wild goose chase, of course, and accidentally dropped my secret briefcase down a sewer drain for them to fetch. <laughs> and uh, speaking of briefcases... Ah, well done, ladies. The International Security Agency is in your debt. If someone had got their hands on the contents of this case, there's no telling what trouble it might have caused. Well, um, actually... Oh, don't tell me. You opened the case? Not us! It was Jade and Sasha. I told them not to, but they did it anyway. And now they're invisible, and first they were freaked, but then they thought it was funny, and now they're spying on some super secret meeting. Spying? 
What time do they spray themselves with a the formula? I don't know, a little afternoon? But it's eight o'clock. And so... So the formula only lasts eight hours. Any minute now, they'll become visible. Are you alone? No, we're with each other. Hello, you don't have to push. I didn't push. Ow, why'd you kick me? I didn't kick you. Ow! Well, now I did. All right, we're in. We've got a passion for crashing. Girls, welcome to my apartment. Mother of pink, it looks just like her office. I beg your pardon? Wasn't, Wasn't me. me. Listen up, girls, because tonight is the night we shut out the world and we enact the glorious plan I've prepared for all these weeks. Prepare yourselves. It's our first ever super secret ultra pink twin power appreciation fest! We're twins. And so are you! Tonight is the one night I choose to ignore insipid remarks like that. Oh, thank you, Verdeen. Just don't let it out that I was nice to you. It'll ruin my reputation. All right, sis, get out the foot pumice. Time to scrape each other's calluses while we watch fried green magnolias. Not so fast, Bernice. We are the ghosts of design and fashion. Hear our words and tremble. Must abandon the color pink. Embrace earth tones. And another thing you mean old. Uh-oh. Brats! Like, how did they get in here? Who cares? The movie can wait till later, girls. We're starting things off with a makeover. No, 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 no! Ah! Apartment Q, here it is. Open up! No telling what's happened by now. Step aside, I'll pick the lock. Good gosh! What have they done to you? We've been pinked. You poor dear girls. Bye, girls. Like, have a nice evening. Thank you so much for dropping by. Finally, I've gotten the upper hand on those measly, meddlesome brats. <laughs> and we finally got a truly amazing picture. <laughs> Looks like joke is on the Bratz girls, eh? Moral to story is, don't spy. Not unless you're professional, like us.
ritual theft in less than 24 hours. And my gut says this is just the beginning. I've got to hide all my bling bling. I heard the thief left no clues. My dangly chandelier earrings with the pretty crystals. Anne could strike again at any time. And my lucky charm bracelet with the silver skateboard and 14 karat gold angel. The hotel is offering a $10,000 award for the jewels returned. And my rhinestone toe ring and... $10,000? Guys, we have a case to crack. Suspect numero uno, Damon. Self-described billionaire playboy is into fast boats, fine foods, and revolting women. Ew! Damon was hanging near the crime site when the theft occurred. Anyone warped enough to hook up with Verdeen is warped enough to steal. He's mine. Suspect two, Nigel Forrester, ninth Duke of Lessex. Oh, what did I ever see in him? I'd like to know the answer to that question. Recently bankrupt Royal needs cashola and therefore has a motivation. And besides, we don't like him. Uh, let me at him. Byron Powell, reality show whiz kid, closet jewel thief, or both. Also in the vicinity at the time of the crime. Dylan, your brain is so fried. Byron would so never do such a thing, and I'll prove it. Suspect number four, Gertrude, the hotel masseuse with the gentle touch of a forklift. You know, she's probably got room access, and I did not like the way she was checking out my bling when I was getting a massage. People, she's mine. Your mission, guys, since you've decided to accept it, is to catch the jewel thief red-handed. Should you be captured or killed, I will disavow any knowledge of your existence and get first dibs on your CDs. Goodbye, Dylan. I can't believe Verdeen is, like, making us work. I know. You'd think with all her money, she'd be, like, able to hire someone to do our work for us. <gasps> Maybe she's, like, secretly broke because practically no one reads Your Thing magazine. <laughs> She, like, already spent all of her savings on those ugly pink pumps and bad plastic surgery. Yeah! She's probably the one who's been stealing all the jewelry so she can pay for another facelift. Yeah! yeah. We should, like, turn her in and collect that $10,000! Yay! <laughs> and then, like, start our own magazine! Yeah! We can call it K after Kirsty. No, my name, K after Casey! Wait, we're, like, gonna have to get proof. But, like, how? Yeah, we're on the case to investigate each and every one before the day is done. No one's gonna get away once you know we're on the case. We right the wrong. Never gonna stop until the cover is caught. So come on. Suspicious eyes What are they trying to hide? We're gonna get to the get truth, to the truth Because we always do
You're sure it was Byron? Yes, although I can hardly believe it either. There's got to be an explanation. So let's just ask him. No way! If he isn't the thief, we offend him. If he is, we tip him off or on to him. I say we search his room for definite proof. And if we find the diamonds? Then we have no other choice but to turn him in. Byron, there you are. May we join you? Please! Well, actually, I'm in a bit of a hurry. This will just take a sec. See, Chloe has this awesome idea for a reality show. The two-in-one miracle stick. It pushes back cuticles and opens hotel doors. Let's get moving before Byron gets back. I've got another idea. It's called Extreme Truth or Dare. You dare someone to go on a blind date wearing bright green polyester. Ugh, Chloe, that's so cruel. Then the guy turns up in an orange kilt. See, he's in on the gag. <gasps> Ow! There's something in here. This one. You leave six girls stranded in a mall with just one credit card between them. Chloe, your ideas are absolutely positively the worst for TV shows I've ever heard. Now, if you'll excuse me. But wait! Chloe, please! Show some mercy! Guys, you're on. Let's do it. This bracelet must be worth a fortune. This is so not looking good for our man. Hey, yes! Byron's on his way back. Come on, let's go. What do you say? A reality show called Hotel Football, huh? No, no, no! Now out of my way! Insufferable frat boys! I order you to cease and desist this instant! Okay, so American football's not your thing. Um, how about... Look, I've absolutely, positively had it with you and your cohort's ridiculous ideas! Would you please leave the ideas to the professionals? And speaking of leaving, would you delinquents kindly exit my room and leave me be? Dude, why didn't you say so? Come on, Cameron. Let's go. Jade and Sasha aren't in there. Oh, what a relief. We're gonna get something to eat. Catch you guys later. What are you doing? Trying to listen in on Byron's phone conversation. Everything is going just as planned. Wait, let me write this down. Mm-hmm. Yep, I think so too. This is going to be our biggest hit yet. So we're gonna go check it out. Later. I wonder where Jade and Sasha are. Byron, you are unmistakably breathtakingly dashing. Oh, I thought he'd never leave. Oh, forgot my... <gasps> ah! We are so busted. Chop chop with my new tiara. Damon's going to be here in two hours for our date and I'm not even half ready yet. So, um, Verdeen, like, you know when those jewel thefts occurred? Like, where were you? Hmm, let's see. I believe I was having my mustache wax. Wait, what 
business is it of yours? Shine! Shine! Guilty with a capital Q. So, like, how long are you gonna be out tonight? Let's see. Dinner, dancing, marriage proposal. Wait. Why are you asking me all these interminable questions? Because we like me to know how long you're gonna be. No reason! What if that bear comes back? I think he's still mad at me for plucking his whisker during the survival competition. Don't worry. I'll tempt him away with my honey face mask. Worked a few days ago, it'll work again. Oh my gosh! Hmm, my guess is it doesn't belong to the bear. Diamonds! Hello, girls. <gasps> May I help you? Funny, you don't look like room service. And you don't look like a jewel thief, but looks are so deceiving. Have you absolutely positively lost your senses? Yasmin saw you swipe a diamond necklace from a hotel room. Oh, that. <laughs> I can explain. I have a new reality show, To Catch a Thief, and I've come to capture world-renowned jewel thief Damon Van Doren. Damon? What Yasmin saw was me replacing real diamonds with fakes. If Damon suddenly skips town, I could be in trouble for letting him escape with the actual jewels. Right. And you just happen to carry around fakes get enough to fool Damon and the victims. No way this is fake. Wrong. I had it made last week. The possible victims were happy to let my staff copy their pieces in exchange for the once-in-a-lifetime chance to appear on my new television show. Ah, people are such attention freaks. So, would you girls be interested in helping me catch a thief? <gasps> Will we be on your show? All right, girls. This should keep you until I return from my date. Now remember, one move and you'll set off the motion detector, which will in turn release the arrow latch. But what if I have hiccups? Well, then your little friend gets heartburn like she's never had before. <laughs> Ciao, ladies. Oh, pretty princess, this is the end. We'll never see Bunny Boo or Cool Cat again, or go to our senior prom, or graduate, or return that DVD, and the late fights will go through the roof, and my parents Chloe, will- calm down! You'll move and set off the motion detector. Now, come on, we've got to figure a way out of here. Right, right. Oh, if only we were wearing arrowproof vests, although they'd probably be really tacky looking. Chloe, that's it! Tacky looking arrowproof vests? No, my necklace. The silver medallion is like armor. If I can get it over my heart without setting off the motion detector, we can trigger the arrow and get out of here. So, tell me more about you. Well, I had a very rough childhood. My father was sick. Depressing! Tell me more about your houses. Well, my villa in Italy. They just sat down. Come on, let's search the room for the jewels. Yeah. People, I'm worried. Chloe and Yasmin don't just disappear. They're not at the pool, but if you're looking for Damon, he's at the restaurant with Burdine. At least they're getting what they both deserve. Jade, let's tell Damon. If he has anything to do with Chloe and Yasmin's disappearance, he'll lead us to them. Girls, Damon is dangerous and more than likely armed. Are you sure you're up to it? Totally. Okay then, I'll stake out Burdine's room in case the gruesome twosome returns. Dylan, Cam, keep searching the hotel for Yasmin and Chloe. Got it. Well, my, is that Donald Trump? Where? <laughs> Oops, I was wrong. My mistake. Now, where were we? Oh, yes. How many bank accounts do you have? Offshore or onshore? Oh, is that your dime? Yes! Look, it's Royale! <gasps> my baby! He's supposed to be with my good-for-nothing interns! <gasps> Come on! We've got to find him! Oh, if one hair on his precious little head is hurt, I'll have those insufferable girls hung by their toenails! Well, on second thought, it wasn't Royale. It was a puddle. I mean, a poodle. Please, sugar, sit down. Enjoy your coffee. You must be mad! I only drink non-fat half soy decaf cappuccino. Waiter! Get over here! 
the sludge. Chop, chop. Uh, hurry up! You weigh like a ton. Do you see any jewelry? Um, I'm looking. I'm looking. Oh, Hello? Oh, thanks a lot, Casey. I missed like a really important call. Oh, oh, get off of me, dork monkey! We're like never gonna find those jewels, or get our ten thousand dollar reward, or start our own magazine. I mean, we've looked like everywhere. Except in her car. Yeah. Verdine and Damon must have already left. Oops, forgot to turn my cell phone back on. Hey, there's a message. It's from Chloe. They're checking out the camping area. Let's go! Yeah, maybe we should, like, check the trunk again. Uh, Casey, why are the trees moving? I invite you in to show you my astonishing collection of pink pumps. Well, I thought you'd never ask. Ah! Mother of pink! I've been robbed! Ticket to the retirement planet of the filthy rich. Damon, isn't it? Just the man I wanted to see. Actually, now is not a good time. Uh, why, that looks just like. Oh! <laughs> Let's see building maintenance get him out of this. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, Yaz, are you sure this is going to work? We have no choice. One, two, three! Crow Magnon. <gasps> oh, my rhinestone tiara! It's gone! You stole it! Give it back, you thief! I didn't touch it! Liar! Give it back! Give it back! Give it back! Wow! $10,000 for catching Damon! And all we had to do was risk our lives! Girls, once again I commemorate you on a job well done. What are you gonna do with the reward money? Buy some diamonds. Not, Not funny. funny. Actually, we're going to donate our reward money to the Q Hotel Wilderness Program for City Kids. Excellent. 
Oh, my precious, precious. Oh, no. It's the abominable pig woman. Cheerio. <laughs> May your heart never break like mine. Mother of Pink! My car! What happened to my car? No one leaves this hotel until I get an answer. <laughs> Mystery solved. Damon did 15 to 20, Burdine discovered that love hurts, and the girls with a passion for fashion got a great cover story for our magazine, How to Catch a Thief in Style. 